Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to explore an essential aspect of optimizing database performance in your Spring Boot application. So here we are looking for Hickory connection pool. So it is a fast and lightweight JDBC connection pool. By end of this video, you will understand what is a connection pool, why it is critical for your applications and how to integrate Hickory connection pool into Spring Boot projects. Without further delay, let's get started. So what is a connection pool? Connection pool is a cache of database connections that connects can be reused when future requests to the database are required. Connection pool is a critical component in Spring Boot application. Why this connection pool is essential? We'll explore more on this. So if you observe this diagram, so, we, so here my application and here is the database. So if we are not using any connection pool in your Spring Boot applications, whenever we are requested for the data, so it will establish new database connection for each user request. So this will be impacted on your application performance. So for that one, we need to use connection pooling. So what the connection pool will do at the time of deploying the application, it will be created some connections. Those connections we need to define in the configurations. For example, if initially you need 10 connections, so it will be create the 10 connection at the time of application deployment. Right. So whenever requested for the database, those connections will get the request and process the data. So, so this time there is no new database connection will be created at the time of request. So with this application performance will be increased. So how to do this connection pool configuration in this application we will see now. So there are some advantages if you are using the connection pool in the Spring Boot applications. So one is for efficient resource management means database connections are expensive. Establishing a new database connection for each request is resource intensive and time consuming because it involving the network overhead, authentication and session initialization and reusing the connections. Connection pool maintaining the pool of pre-established connection that can be reused reducing the overhead of creating and closing connections repeatedly improved performance how it is improve the performance so we are no need to create the new database connection for each request so reduce the latency since connections are reused from the pool the time taken established connection is eliminated leading and lower latency and fast response time. Concurrent access. Connection pools are mu allow multiple clients to access the database simultaneously. If you are giving the 10 requests to that app, if you are giving 10 requests to that database, so whatever the connection pool connections is available, it will take the, all the 10, 10 requested and it will process at one shot. So this is like simultaneously it will process the request. With this, it will improve the application of this performance. Now, we will see how to configure this connection pool in Spring Boot applications. So, for this one, I have created one uh, simple application. So, here if you see my entity is a student. So, you are having ID, name and course. And if you see the my controllers class. So, in the controller class, it, it is having get all student. This is the API will perform to test this connection pooling okay so if you see my repository and uh, student repository it is okay so if you come to the database properties so here is my database configuration properties okay this is related to my mysql database and here is the my connection pool related configurations so here i am using hickory connection pooling so here if you see maximum pool size i am giving 10 so at the time of starting this application it will create 10 connection and minimum ideal is 5 and ideal timeout is uh, this much I have given and maximum lifetime also I mentioned. So these are the properties you require to work with connection pooling. Test this 
connection pool application we need jmeter quickly i will show you where to download the jmeter and how to test this application through jmeter so you can come to this jmeter website and here you can click this uh, download releases and it will show this jmeter 5.6.3 here is the binaries so we need to download apache jmeter 5.6.3 I'll give you this link into the description. You can download this one. Once it is downloaded, you can unzip this one. And once it is unzipped, you can go to this bin folder. In bin folder, you can able to see JMeter Windows batch file. So once you double click on this and it will open the JMeter. Okay. So here JMeter. So first we need to create the test for that. So first for that one, you can click on the test plan, right click click on the add and you can go to the thread users now you can click on the thread group so here we need to define some thread group here is i am checking connection pool test okay so once you created this thread pool and here you can mention how many threads you want to pass so here i am mentioning like 1000 threads for second one second i need to pass 1000 okay and now we need to create the http request so if you come to this uh, sampler here is the http request so here we need to define your port number so my port number it is run, running on uh, 98 98 so if you are running in 8080 you can give 8080 if you see my port number so my port number is running on 9090 so i'll specify it to 9090 and uh, i'm using in local host and get api and uh, what is the api i am going to test here so in if you come to my student controller so i am going to test this get mapping so here is the request mapping slash students okay so this is the get i am giving the slash this is my students okay so with this i created win this uh, test configuration now if you want to test first we need to start this spring boot application I come to the main class and you can start this spring boot application and before this one we are performing get operations right so you need to create a student table and keep some entries in the student table so if you observe these logs so here we are using hackery connection pool and if you see this total five connections active is zero ideal is five so total one two three four, okay with my configuration also so if you see minimum ideal is 5 so it is taking 5 pool size is 10 once your request is request is coming to this application automatically it will uh, create the active pool size is 10 now for that one we need to test this one okay so go to here and so you can click on this start and if you see now logs for this application so if you observe these logs see still request is processing let me wait once all the request is completed then we'll explore this class because each time it will take the 10 request once that uh, request process is completed then again it will take the new request and it will process so i think this is completed now we'll copy this lux so you can paste it and if you see the, from the starting so here so if you see the initially total connection is 10 we are defined as a 10 connections as so active connection is 10 okay so it will take that 10, uh, 10 request and it will process once the process is completed again that connection it will take the another request and again it will process so we are passing 1000 requests for the second right so uh, each time it will uh, process the 10 request only once the process is completed again it will take the 10 request and again it will process so like that if you observe this all this log we can see the waiting is 41 and if you see waiting 42 and if you observe this scroll down and you can even observe how many waiting is 47 so each time total is 10 and active is 10 so here active is 9 so ideal is 1 why means one request is process is completed so it is coming to that ideal then again it is picking the test and it will start again processing okay so like this this connection pool will work if you see the finally then total connection is 10 active is 0 ideal ideal connection is 10 waiting is 0 because there is all the request are process is completed so it is to, uh, showing ideal request are 10 waiting there is no no request in waiting so like this you can able to see the connection processing so in this case where each time we have no need to create 
new connection for the processing the request because that will take some time to create the database connection so due to this one application performance will impact on this so that is the reason we need to use the connection pool in the spring boot applications i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel